Hello, Namaste. Welcome to Greet Arrow. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Okay, so the topic for today is Ascended Master's message on the awareness you need right now. So let's see what awareness your Ascended Master's wants to give to you today. So as you can see, there are three images to choose from. So choose intuitively. So one, two, three. Take your time. Pause, your, pause the video. And uh, remember, these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind, guys. And these are timeless readings as well. And uh, in the description box, the timestamps will be given. So watch accordingly. So I'm going to start with group. group number one. If you have chosen this image, let's see the message from your Ascendant Masters on the awareness that you need right now. Okay, what awareness you need right now in your life. So the first message that I heard is like, be the change that you want to see in your life. So maybe for some of us, we want success. So make the changes, make the necessary changes in order to achieve that success. For example, some of you have a goal to attain this, this much mark in your examination. So for that, be the change. Don't do the same old routines that you are doing. Make necessary changes according uh, to your dreams and visions. That's something I'm seeing here. So maybe for some of you, there is a, an element of procrastination. Uh, maybe for some of you, it's like a person who, is start, who has started to watch certain dramas and they just watch and watch and watch and without them realizing, they start to waste their time because more focus is on the drama rather than their studies. And even though you want to accomplish something in your examination, because our subconscious mind is getting programmed because daily we are watching those dramas and, uh, and but in the back of the mind, we have to reach um where we want to reach like we have to study we, we know that but at the same time there is this distraction coming so if you want to achieve that goal you need to control that distraction you need to work on that distraction that's something i'm seeing here okay um if you are aware of it you can change it if you are aware that you are watching too much content and it's not helping you at all that's the first thing you know that you have to change so if you're aware of something, why not change it, right? So maybe for some of you, there is some sort of habits that you're really aware of it, that you need to change, go ahead and change it. For some of you, it's like, uh, maybe you're wasting time, uh, wasting your time writing comments. You know, when we get uh, into a page and there will be a lot of comments and then people will start arguing in the comments. If you're someone who starts arguing in the co comment section, don't waste your time there arguing. Instead, do something protective. Okay, so that's, I don't know why, but that is coming through here very much. So, like, in these small, small things, maybe there is a chance of you wasting your time and not doing what you actually want to do, rather doing something that is not at all important. What is the what you will get by arguing in the comment section with other people? Nothing, right? Nothing is going to come out of you. Either, either uh, you will get irritated, either you will win the argument, but it doesn't matter, right? It, that, that doesn't matter. You don't have to argue about, uh, you know, you cannot make everyone um, uh, understand what you want to make them understand so instead just don't waste your time if you're someone who does that okay or maybe somewhere you you're wasting your time even with your without realizing like once you start you start on doing it and then you it's like two hours three hours and you're like oh my god time went by so fast and i was not able to do what i wanted to do uh, it's like watching uh, watching videos, small videos, right? And uh, I have done that and I was like, oh my God, my t time all gone, right? And then I have not done the work that I have to do. And it's like, then I get panicked, right? I have to complete so much things. So now uh, it's like you need to be aware of it, right? When you're wasting your time. <laughs> I don't know why that's very much important uh, for you guys. So make a list of the things uh, that you need to achieve in a particular day like in the next 24 hours this this all task i have to do like make a list what's important to you guys and then stick to that list that's something you can do okay yeah and maybe for some of you you are talking a lot right i will do this i will accomplish this by this time like when we said the new year resolutions we have a lot of hope so walk that talk just don't talk just walk it as well right so that is very important for you guys uh, let's see uh, what is the awareness you need well i'll pick up uh, certain uh, messages from this okay okay one more let's take one more what is it oh you got extra okay 
So let's just talk Oge Yoga at 4. So let's see. Uh, <clears throat> creative pot potential. You are by nature infinitely creative. You are free to express all your heart desires. Okay, maybe one, one thing that you need to do is to um, to uh, in, take a piece of paper right now and write down all your heart desires. What you want to accomplish this year? What are your heart desires? What are your heart telling you? Right? And, and keep it in that piece of paper like your heart desires and you know, Come back every uh, come back every week and read it again, and then you will understand how much action you are taking towards these things. And if you're not taking action, remind yourself to take action towards those things. Okay, so that's something I'm seeing here. Okay, uh, and yeah, walking your talk is very important. <laughs> so I have seen a lot of people they tell, oh, I love you and all, I love you in a relationship as well, love you. And so much um, sweetness will be there when they're talking, but there will be no action here. And if you're someone like that, it's time to take action. Because if you don't take action, you're not going to get back what you want, right? So that's very necessary here. And if you have certain ideas, taking action towards it is also very important. Right, maybe for some of you, you have started an Instagram page and you have promised yourself that you will post every day. Then what happens is you don't see that much views or you don't see that much people engaging in your content and that demotivates you when you stop posting altogether. Uh, that will not work out for you guys. You need to work for it, okay? Don't stop in middle. That is also something I'm seeing here. You're very creative people as well. So <clears throat> that's something is also that you need to be aware of. You're very creative. You have that potential. But sometimes things take time. Sometimes things are not so easy to attain, right? <clears throat> I have been working on my channel for so long. Um, yeah, it, it will take time. It takes patience. It takes it's it's a slow growth for me as well. So, um, uh, but I'm very much uh, far uh, far from when I started. But if I had stopped, it will not move forward, right? So it's important for you guys to to keep on working on it, not giving up very quickly, okay, very important. I'm getting this Aries energy from you guys, like you start something very interested, but then later, later you get very much bored. So if you're feeling bored, why not get into that first phase of your energy when you started this thing, how you felt? Maybe learning something will really help you, okay? Uh, that's something I'm seeing here. <clears throat> or maybe when, uh, when if you're someone who studies a lot and you get bored very easily, why not find ways uh, that can keep you uh, with that passion okay so that's what I'm getting here reminding yourself why you started this reminding that every day is very important okay uh, yeah let's see what else here um, middle path embrace both sides the middle path is the road to be balanced and more peaceful life again there is this middle energy here right it's like you have started you have started the journey you're in the middle you haven't haven't reached where you wanted to reach but you're not at the first stage as well right as I was talking about myself I'm not at the first uh, I'm not where I started I have learned a lot of things but yes uh, am I where I wanted to be no I'm not but uh, if I stop then I'll be in the middle only. I'll not reach the destination. I'll not reach. And if you are, I'm only stressing about these things, do you think I'll, uh, I will, uh, things will move off for me? No. And yeah, and it's the truth. So embracing the situation you are in right now. So if you are stuck, feeling stuck, go slow. You know, in, in a mud, when we are stuck, we have to go slow to get out of it. If we run, we are going to go down only right we will uh, drown like that's the energy i'm getting here okay so embrace this middle path uh, whatever you can do today do that and um, and walk your talk and when you catch yourself doing something out of your list yeah it's okay maybe you can just put some sort of entertainment in your list as well like for fun one hour, one hour i'll be watching this drama but Maybe for some of you, you are the kind of people who will wait to end like uh, the uh, 16 <laughs> episode drama and then watch together. It's like such a waste of time. So why not watch one episode at a time, right? So it's very important because I know that I also used to do, but right now I cannot do it. Seriously, you know, I am I'm at a point right now in my life where I was, a, I was a girl who used to watch like that, maybe eight episodes together. I, but now I, I can't do it, you know, it, it feels, I, I, I really cannot do it. So for so you guys also, you should 
you should understand that it's not working out when you're watching too much too much of anything is not good right balance is the key and then we have transformation through the great love that holds you in its embrace you are moment by moment transforming to ever greater light and wisdom yes it will take time this transformation takes time like the caterpillar stage it takes time it's take times to evolve right for you guys also your transformation is taking a lot of time maybe you thought that i'll transform like this in this much uh, time no it's not possible because in this transformation you have to understand a lot of things and i know that, that by myself as well how much you know the past comes out how much we have to release a lot of things that bothers us it's a process it, it really takes time okay it's not like we can achieve this transformation in one year it's not like a weight loss journey maybe weight loss we can do it but in our life a lot of a lot of things we need to release like a lot of past beliefs limited beliefs it really takes time okay uh, but but are we at the first uh, are we at the spot where we started no we are moving forward even though some days will be like that where you're feeling like you're not moving forward that's not true you are definitely moving forward okay and you know in this whole process you're gaining so much wisdom you are not the one who started uh started your journey right you're not there now even if you watch like i'm just for some of you i feel like you have this habit of watching a lot of content if you love something you start watching it uh, you get very much um uh you you th think about that thing a lot and then you are like in that zone like you are daydreaming about that oh, this is korean drama or or indian drama whatever turkish drama whatever you watch okay you are in that drama you are in that environment and you think about it a lot and then that's when you are get you are you're not in your own reality you're not focused on your own transformation and that's not good right so come back you can be uh, you can imagine you can be there when you're watching the content but when you have ended it come back to yourself and work on yourself that's very important because i feel like when you get into that stage it's very hard for you to detach from it and uh, that's not uh, good for you guys because you're giving your energy you know we give our energy to our media con media content and all right so you don't have to waste your energy so uh, focus on the things that you want to grow in your life okay that's very important for you guys for your transformation uh, and kindness a kind gesture uh, rekindles your belief in the power of r r love whenever you can be kind be kind okay so <clears throat> maybe for some of you this kindness can be like in the form of doing something for your parents or helping your family or maybe a, a smile uh, given to a stranger will be a form of kindness right so be more kind towards you as well uh, okay when you are saying some truth you know it's, uh, maybe you're someone who says the truth in uh, truth you're very honest with other people but when you're saying the truth be a little kind as well don't be harsh when saying truth as well <laughs> okay maybe you didn't like someone's jacket or didn't like someone's uh, clothing you can express that but in a kind gesture right maybe they like it it's maybe their taste is that so you need to understand that maybe it's not nice but maybe you didn't like it but that doesn't mean that it's not their taste right maybe they like it so be be a little bit more aware of it okay don't throw words uh, without thinking that's what the message is from your ascendant masters <clears throat> are you someone who talks a lot without thinking or um, are you someone uh, who doesn't talk when you have to talk and rather t talks when you don't have to talk so be very aware of it okay yeah uh, we have the desert yes sometimes life is challenging sometimes in the desert we have to walk and re uh, and it takes you know to reach the oasis or to reach the water uh, in the desert it takes time we have to move forward we have to be a little bit thirsty but you know sometimes in the, those challenging period only we understand our own power right so that's what i'm getting here for you guys again uh, if you have a sticky mud the more you you try to get out the you know fast and you get worried the more you will sink so what you need to do is to go slow take one step at a time and then you will be out of that thing so if you are stuck in a rut doing the same old um you know take a step back and look are you walking your talk are you 
uh, putting the effort every day or are you dwelling in fear or insecurities are you wasting your time watching something that's not uh, important to you guys are you or uh, how much you watch content right it's okay if you can watch right one hour is okay maybe i'm okay but uh, you know one hour two hours fine you know when you have free time but are you how much you're watching are you watching more than that uh yeah you don't have to do a do detox right you know sometimes uh, people get uh, to a place where they're all, almost on their phone and then they get to a stage where they have to detox like social media detox why we need to get to that stage why not um why not start today and yeah two hours i'll be on social media then maybe i'll cut and i'll be on one hour on social media or maybe i'll watch content uh that uh, that is helpful for my path uh, uh yeah watching something that's good like educational something I, I can do that i can watch more of those content that will help me in my journey right instead of watching something that is n not doing me any good so maybe maybe becoming aware of it is very necessary for you guys okay yeah <clears throat> then we have yes eight of pentacles okay you need to focus on your skills uh, that's something I'm getting here. Again, the transformation is coming. So this is the time to focus on a skill that you are developing. If it's your study, focus on the study. Yes, yeah, sometimes the study looks like the desert where you don't know where you're going. There is no end to it. A lot of books are there. You have to study, study, study. Sometimes, sometimes there are days when you're not able to remember anything, right? At that time, don't dwell into that fear that nothing is going to work out. Or maybe if you're doing something and it doesn't work out the way you want, don't get in, into that place, right? Instead, what you can do is take a, uh, go out, look at the nature, get inspired. Or maybe, maybe at that time, don't distract yourself by watching a lot of content on Netflix, right? Uh, maybe uh, watch something that will inspire you rather, okay? yeah and look at the butterflies here um some skill <laughs> like you are in the caterpillar stage practice practice get, practice get out of your comfort zone and this transformation is definitely possible for you guys uh and for this transformation yes every day you have to dedicate yourself to it every day you have to walk ahead you know move forward in this journey because you are in this dry, dry desert sometimes you don't know where the destination is but so you have to challenge yourself and move forward every day practice 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 until you get there because you are in the middle path and when you will look it back you are so much further but yes you haven't reached but will you if you believe in it if you dedicate yourself to it you will definitely reach there yeah cure of cups taking your responsibilities uh, taking care, you know, taking, uh, be responsible for your own doings. Um, don't blame others for your own doings. That is also something I'm seeing here. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes something doesn't work out. Uh, we tend to blame other people, right? Oh, this worked out. This didn't work out because we moved from that city to here. When I was young, my parents make me move here. If I was in that city, the things would have been <laughs> different. You know, sometimes uh, we tend to do it. Uh, now it's not the time to do that. It's time to take responsibility for your own actions. Okay. It's very easy. Like uh, when an examination happens, uh, it was tough. But sometimes we don't see if we haven't prepared well or not. Um, yeah, sometimes we might have prepared well and uh, sometimes there would have been, uh, you know, the question paper was tough. Yeah, we under I understand that. But here your SNN masters are telling you, it's okay. If you fail one time, it's okay. Now you take responsibility for that and work towards it, okay? And only take what what you are responsible for. You don't you as you do, you don't have to give your responsibility to other people. Don't take other people's responsibility as well. Okay, with this queen of cups, I feel like maybe you tend to take pe other people's responsibility. So that's why you are not able to fulfill your own needs. Uh, for some of you, that that can be the thing, right? Um, yeah, maybe you're a mother and you have some sort of uh, extra hobbies that you're working, you're pursuing, you have certain goals, but maybe you tend to take too much of other people's responsibilities, so you don't have time for yourself, for your work, okay? And uh, and uh, that is also not uh, uh, not good. So make time for your uh, things and uh, when someone is giving you dumping their responsibilities onto you 
stand up and tell them that I'm not ready to take this today. <laughs> I, I have my work. You know, setting work, clear boundaries with your kids is also sometimes important. Um, um, yeah, you know, make them understand that this is your job to do. I will not do it for you. You know, when your kids grow, um, and there are a lot of kids who don't do their own uh, task, even though they are um, they, they are in that age to do it, right? Maybe teenagers, but they don't do it. And sometimes it's all on the mother <laughs> to do it. And so here, um, establishing that boundaries with them is also important. Yeah, like cleaning their room should be their responsibility. It shouldn't be yours because it's only adding more, more to your list. And when it's adding more to your list, you're not able to give your 100% to the things that you want to achieve in your life right we talk about the greatest sacrifices made by mother but at the end uh, we we as a society i feel like have conditioned mother to in that zone where they have to sacrifice everything why why can't they have everything they want right at the same time they can have a good family they are giving their time you know sometimes they should have a hobby uh, and you know if you're doing something for yourself be very proud of it don't feel guilty about it because i've seen so many people uh, being guilty because i'm also like that only sometimes i feel guilty now i'm getting into a stage uh, where why why we have to feel guilty for doing something for ourselves right are all you know sometimes it's like all the trash is this trash whatever trash is like been thrown onto the mother like cleaning dishes everything everything is mother's duty how it became because we as a society has been conditioned to clean the house it's, it's a mother duty how you know we need to change we need to you know talk it out and um we need to tell our kids like do that it's your responsibility <laughs> yeah if we don't do it now they will continue with that Right, and then it's it will be their wife's responsibility, or uh, yeah, it's it becomes like that because we, you know, if uh, if we look at the a young age only, a uh, girls are thought to be clean, responsible for the cleaning for the housework, why men are not? You know, if you are a mother of a boy, or uh, I feel like right now it's time to make them responsible for their <laughs> cleaning. Yeah, I feel like that. That's that's a change. Maybe for some of you, you are. Uh, your mothers of adult children if you are maybe that's a message for some of you to uh, to not do <laughs> you know it's okay to do yes you love them but that doesn't mean that you have to spoil them it's very uh, you know if you can understand me yeah yeah it's like age of wands now focus on something that you want to grow in your life read something that makes you happy uh, write something uh, that blossoms you Talk about something that puts a smile on your face, right? So do more of that, okay? Hmm. For some of you, meditation, relaxation will bring a lot of new ideas. Um, new ideas uh, for your work, for your skills as well. If you have a hobby, meditation, clearing your mind, making at least a 10 or 20 minutes for yourself is very important for clearing your mind for uh, for you know uh, have that quiet quiet time for yourself you know many people uh, whenever i talk to my sisters <laughs> or my mom they are like oh there is a lot of work in the kitchen and then i have to go there i have to do that no time no time for meditation right no one has time for meditation no one has time uh, like a 10 minute time for the, they don't give that to themselves because they have so much to do right but is it that they don't have 10 minute time or is it in their mind that that they that they don't have or is it really the truth no it's not we we can have that 10 minute time right if we believe that we have we will have that 10 minute time but sometimes we don't give that importance to it sometimes we don't get get give importance to ourselves Sometimes we don't give importance to our own growth. Rather, we give importance to our family so much that we, in that, we lose ourselves. Yes, in family is really important, really, really important. But you, as a soul, uh, you deserve that uh, that time for yourself. You deserve your own growth, right? Yes, maybe people around you are growing, and, and for some of you, there is a feeling that you are not growing. So why not? Why not do? 
something that makes you happy why not read the books that give you the uh, the awareness that you need for some of you there is a book that you have bought you haven't touched it because you didn't have the time right uh, because you were busy doing something else uh, maybe you were doing someone else's responsibilities yeah we we need to make time for this pile really you need to make time for yourself i feel like that and seven of cups here yeah, choosing things wisely waking every day like the seven of cups what is the important task for me today what is important what is my responsibility what i need to invest my time on make a list of it every day so why not you can you 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 people can do that group number 1 i feel like it like starting your day writing the things that are necessary and important for you guys and sticking to it maybe make a time for your self care routine uh yeah make time for your family like do that and then follow that day follow that you know it will be difficult at first but as you continue doing it it will become more easy have you know every skill is like that so when i started my tarot i had to learn about it it was not this easy for me right but then i i continued doing it right every day i dedicated my time to this every day i read books every day every day i did something towards it yeah so that that means it doesn't mean that i didn't give time to my family i gave that time also i i did my mom duties as well. i i did everything i cooked i did that as well right but every day i dedicated because time for this thing because this is this makes me happy this makes me um like i'm growing you know it makes me feel like makes me feel like i'm growing you know? and yes of course it has changed my life in so many uh, ways Uh, so that's what i'm telling you so what's important for you guys make a decision make a choice with the seven of cups okay choose your stars wisely what kind of wishes you want to like getting every day oh, i wish to have this thing today i wish to have this thing i will get this completed because this is important for me yes i i will spend time with my kids this much or my spouse this much but yes i want my alone time as well uh, right i want my read you know maybe for some of you reading uh, for 20 minutes uh, before going to bed why not okay yeah i know this has become a uh, completely advice kind of uh, reading <laughs> i don't know but definitely maybe for some of you need that an imagination yes i am raise and nourish the creative aspect of my mind so you're very creative people okay there's no doubt here you're very imaginative as well so maybe for some of you um again with this eight of pentacles and this ace of wands you get a lot of creative ideas in your imaginative mind so take that ideas and work on that ideas for some of you you're great visualizers so you can visualize the life you want so every day why start why not start your day 10 minutes visualizing how your day want you want to be do that uh, um visualize yourself having a great day with a lot of smiles completing your duties very easily doing the stuff that is important to you why not do that so start your day like that end your day by reading something that matters to you or ending your day with a 10 minute meditation or just closing your eyes and visualizing the things that you want to accomplish the next day why not do that <laughs> yeah so that's something i'm getting here you have this power of imagination i feel like use it to your own, your own advantage if you are someone who is interested in writing something i feel like you will be very good with it so your imagination is very wild and you are very powerful imaginators as well right so visualization is your power so the more you visualize something there is high chance that you will receive it so visualize what you need to visualize what you want in your life don't visualize the that the thing that you don't want in your life so be be aware of it as well okay so if you're someone like maybe you get a call and someone is sick in your family so how you shouldn't visualize them in hospital how you should visualize them in their health right walking and smiling that's that's the thing so understand that so what you want to visualize it what don't uh, don't visualize something that is because we are fearful of something that's why you know we tend to do it so it's like when we are praying for someone if someone is sick sometimes we we see them in the hospital bed don't do that instead visualize them in a very good space they're walking they're healthy do that and then three understand the difference <laughs>
so the final message is yeah again happy happy it's like choosing yourself choosing your happiness first as you choose yourself as you choose happiness you will see that you're radiating that kind of energy and people around you will also see that shift in you so when you're starting um, your day with a 10 minute visualization of you being happy you're going to radiate that thing that day right you will be making the choices that is good for you the choices that makes you happy and as you do that you will see more and more and more things are coming in alignment so if your children were not listening to you but now you are you have changed your vibration you are happy and you will see that it's very easy to make them understand that thing and they and without any yeah without any effort you will be seeing that they are doing what they have to do like they are becoming responsible for their things it's like that only right so as you shift your energy you will see the shift in your reality as well <clears throat> so you start your card started with this desert and ended with a happy happy so yes finally you will be reaching the uh, water you will be getting the water that you want so yes in there there is some challenges so go slow be patient every day do what you can do that's it go with the flow yeah so that's all the message is for you guys from your ascendant masters on the awareness that you need right now <laughs> uh, i hope it made sense so i hope it gave you the clarity you needed if it did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the decks that i used in this reading will also be listed so take care guys bye bye so group number two if you have chosen this image let's see what is the message for you guys okay so ascended masters message on the awareness that you need right now okay so uh, i just uh, when i was starting a reading like the number 777 popped out of nowhere so seven and interestingly if you look at this uh, image of yours that you have chosen you can see the seven colors as well right the seven chakras so something with seven seven is also a number of uh, gaining that higher knowledge wisdom uh, so that's that's what I'm getting here. So um, in seven months, there is a massive change happening for you guys. Uh, maybe spiritually, you are progressing. Um, there is going to be a lot of clarity. If you're confused about something right now, in the next seven months, this is a journey where you will be getting all your questions answered. Okay, so that's one thing I'm seeing here. Um, balancing your chakras is something if you can uh, put you know if you can meditate on each chakras uh, for like uh, 15 to 30 minutes it will be good for you guys uh, yeah I feel like for some of you uh, the connection that you have with spirit is definitely strengthening there is no doubt there <laughs> so yes um, so maybe for some of you you are uh, someone who can see the auras or maybe in the coming coming months you will be able to see the colors of different people that is something i'm seeing here and if you are called to learn something with energy healing if you are feeling like that if you have that inner calling to learn more about it take action towards it as well okay so seven things seven seven the number seven in seven days or seven weeks or seventh month of the year something is happening or the seven 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 the um, in seven months okay seven months something some sort of progress spiritually is definitely going to happen some sort of advancement in your skills or your spiritual gifts are advancing you will see or maybe you will see that uh, i have this spiritual gift as well so something like that is also there or maybe in seven months time you will see that most of the things that you uh, you know maybe a vision you that saw become a reality something like that is there okay yeah 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 i really feel for this while you're very much i feel like your ascendant masters want to point out that you are a person who is spiritually going to move forward you're a very spiritual person 
that's one thing I'm seeing here and you have a connection to source very strong connection to source and you can channel messages from source that's something I'm seeing here. group number two you have certain spiritual gifts for sure everyone has but you you are going to be if, if you feel like you don't have you will be very aware of it in the coming months in seven months or if you know that I feel like there is an upgrade there is an activation to your spiritual gifts so let's see let's see what else spirit wants you to know what else your ascendant masters want you to be aware of I am seeing like a lot of it's like in white dress a lot of people are dancing in a forest <laughs> so maybe something with dancing maybe you need to dance more uh, maybe you need to sing more maybe you have a very angelic voice and here your spirit guys your ascendant masters are telling you to sing more right yeah something with your voice okay <laughs> Uh, maybe you need to um, share your wisdom with other people share the messages you receive from spirit okay share if you if you feel like calling your friends and telling them something um, trust and tell them maybe you keep it to yourself don't do that share uh, fear wow we have Archangel Michael coming out here and I feel like he is your protector protecting you uh, from everything he maybe he is uh, Archangel Michael always or all is always protects you or maybe you call upon Archangel Michael all the time maybe you feel a connection with him and if you feel that yes he is always with you protecting you um, you are safe from all the things that is out of your control so you don't have to uh, worry about it uh, so whenever you're going out why not uh, why not uh, imagine that white light energy covering you and feel that protection and then go out it will be very good for you guys because you are someone who takes other people's energy right so if you are someone who does readings or if you do reading so after doing it you need to protect yourself as well by calling upon him i feel like that's one thing you can do yeah archangel michael here to help through your present time you are protected and safe what a good message to get so your ascendant masters your ascendant master maybe one of your ascendant master is archangel michael and he's a he's archangel as well but i feel like uh, he's coming out as an ascendant master's uh, master to help, uh, tell you that he is always with you he's guiding you he's protecting you you are safe in your present moment so don't worry hmm? whenever you're taking a risk he's telling you that yes you are safe yeah that's a beautiful one Again, this came for group number one as well. A guy in gesture rekindles your belief in the power of love. Now, that's interesting that group number one also got this message interesting because there are so many cards here. Maybe we'll take one more for you guys. Um, okay. And again, with this kindness, uh, maybe for some of you, uh, maybe you have a fear that uh, someone will misuse your kindness. Or maybe in the past, many people have misused your kindness. They have, you know, you were kind to them and they gave you something back that was not good for you, right? So maybe for some of you, you are very afraid about that. Don't be afraid. You be you. Uh, you are a very kind soul. So give that kindness. You are protected and safe, okay? So that's what I'm getting here. So let's see what else. One more, uh, one more message. Wow, we have positive outcomes. The, the sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will see things in different light. Again, so if you have been waiting for a positive outcome, yes, there is that positive outcome coming your way. But for that, you need to be more positive. Don't think negatively about something and wish for a positive outcome. That's very much opposite you know if we if we wish for a positive outcome we have to imagine it very positively so don't think in a negative way and then accept a positive expect a positive outcome because that will not happen so that's very much important here and for some of you if you're going through a situation where things are not working out the way you want just you will in in the coming days i feel like maybe in the coming seven months or seven days so sorry seven days it's like seven hours also for some of you there is a different way of seeing the things because something that you're going through is not permanent and the clouds are going to move away and you will see the things very very clearly okay <clears throat> so uh, we have the bar too again this is uh, highlighting that only the connection that you have with spirit 
uh, the veil it's like the veil is going to be lifted and you're go going to receive the messages direct from the spirit your ascendant masters are telling you that they are giving you the messages right for some of you if you are interested in uh, reading akashic records i feel like you will be very good at it if you want to read about it if you are already doing it you will be very good at it okay maybe for some of you if you are interested in the field of hypnotherapist or healing any areas or uh, like that i feel like your your ascendant masters are telling you that yes you will be very good at it and for others now um, i'm really seeing don't don't be afraid of your own gifts don't be afraid of your own spiritual gifts the messages that you receive sometimes uh, protects you okay your intuition always protects you so take action accordingly don't be afraid of it okay there's nothing to be afraid of it yeah that's what i'm getting here we have the ace of cups uh, from your tarot card then we have the fool wow look at a one uh, zero maybe we will keep zero one like that i feel like it so there is progression for you guys that's what your ascendant masters are telling you in your spiritual gifts if you're someone who already receives messages from spirit i feel like the messages are going to be more clear from now onwards you will be able to decode that very easily because the veil is lifted right so you are getting the clear messages from spirit you are a channel for some of you some of you you are a medium even if you realize it or not you are someone who can actually receive messages from spirit very very clear because you are that vessel you are in that vibration where you can connect with divine very easily and you can receive those messages yes wow look at your numbers yeah there is this new beginning happening for you guys you need to be aware of a new beginning where you will be seeing your wishes come true you will be seeing your manifestations coming true <laughs> and page of swords look at it then you have a code card so two major arcanas and then two <laughs> look at it you know zero and one numbers pool the ace of cups is also talking about new beginning and magician the powerful card right uh, in the deck whole deck i feel like magician is so such a powerful card so manifestations uh, coming your way the things that you have been wishing for is definitely coming your way for some of you maybe you have wished for your own spiritual growth that's definitely happening for some of you it can be about your studies maybe you want to grow in your studies maybe you want to learn something new yes that's possible maybe for studies you want to relocate that's possible maybe for some of you you want to learn more about the higher knowledge higher wisdom yes that's what is exact that's what exactly is happening a lot of higher knowledge wisdom a lot of awareness you're getting uh, about um, uh yeah about the ancient knowledge yes you will be you will be getting a lot of information that you don't have right now okay maybe a lot of healing information that you don't have right now you will be getting that but it's like with this ace of cups and the fool uh, your life Uh, is going to be more um, more very more positive only you need to be aware of it okay <laughs> you are getting into a stage where you're not afraid of anyone you're not fearing anyone because you know that the power is within you and the fear you know sometimes we fear what others will say how if we are staying with someone we feel like they will control us but now you're getting that awareness that no one can control you only you are the one uh who has power over you you are not going to give your power to anyone so it's like you are someone who can who can stay in any environment you're getting there you're uh, you you know even if you're in an environment that you don't like you are not going to give your power and you will be happy in that environment maybe you have you you are someone who has gone through a Uh, you have stayed in a toxic environment and maybe you are very afraid to go back to that environment yes you know one thing is like you need to be aware of that you are never going back to that toxic environment that's something i'm seeing here and even you know i'm just saying like that even if you are going you are in an environment that is not so good for you guys you will not give your power to them because the reason is you are so connected to the source you are so connected to the source that you're receiving messages you are receiving the downloads every day so you know what's best for you you know how to be happy you know what's good for you guys it's like you are someone who is uh, practicing the self love taking care of yourself and uh, 
and you're doing good i i really feel like the thing that you need to be aware of uh, your spirit guides are telling you your sin and masters are telling you you're on right right on track your train is going good you will reach the destination this is a journey that you will be enjoying and yes the past that you have gone through is not going to come back there is so much more to learn for you guys you will be learning so 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 much more maybe through your work you will be traveling the world okay for others you will be traveling that's quite possible for for some of you if you're not in, into travel i feel like your work will be traveling the world you're meant for this your work uh um you're meant for travel for some of you your for some of you it's like your work is meant to travel or maybe for some of you you're going to learn a lot about different cultures maybe you'll be meeting different people from the world who will be uh, needing your service uh yes it's like that only but one thing for sure right now you need to be aware is like yes your wishes that you have been praying for is definitely coming true that knowledge the wisdom uh, that uh, there is some sort of higher knowledge wisdom that is coming your way that is going to change a lot in your life you are going to be more understanding of how manifestation works you will be getting a lot of ideas through your experiences and when we are an experienced person we can give that guidance to other people as well and one more thing here that you need to be aware of is that you are very much powerful manifestor so your thoughts are very very magnetic right so what you think you can manifest so if you're dwelling more on the fear there is a high chance you can manifest that as well so i feel like you have seen that scenario is where you thought little negative and you got a manifestation that you didn't like i'm sure for this pile it's because you are very magnetic okay and yes whatever you're desiring desires you back you need to be aware of it okay for some of you there is a chance of you purchasing a land property or something like that where you will be building a home according to your own wishes it's very specific but maybe it's not very soon this thing going to happen for some of you it can be like 7 months for others maybe in 7 years you will be building that it's a very specific message as well i just received that so <laughs> with this dandy lions as well you know something that you're wishing is definitely coming true a new beginning a new way of seeing life you will be changing you will be shifting your perception there is going to be a change in your perception very soon so the the clouds you know if you are not seeing things very clearly you will be seeing things very 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 clearly okay blame i accept responsibility for my well being you know you don't again here you don't you don't have to uh, put that blame uh, if like you are a person who provide the services and you're doing that but if that person doesn't listen to you and um, and they don't uh, do the work that you have said them to do then if they are blaming you it's not your problem right everyone's uh, yeah they cannot blame you for their own uh, pro yeah problems their responsibility is to take care of them your responsibility is only to give them that advice and if they are not taking that advice and doing the same old things uh same old routine and they're not making seeing a change it's not your problem you need to understand that so don't take the blame of other people very seriously because maybe for some of you you are someone who is a medium and the message that you will give to them maybe they will not like it and they might blame you why you're saying like that this 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 you don't have to take that it's not your responsibility okay and for others it's like i don't feel like you are blaming someone for your responsibility because i feel like group number 2 you are very much aware of your responsibility and even if you have blamed someone in the past i feel like you are you're letting that go you know that it's your responsibility uh, you're taking responsibility for your actions i don't see that but here there is a chance for someone else to blame you that you didn't do that you didn't do that maybe it was not even even your responsibility so stand up for yourself okay that's what i'm getting here and maybe if you have felt like that that you were responsible for them your spirit is acknowledging that making you aware that uh you are not responsible for other people's thoughts or their actions you are not so no one can blame you on that yeah 
yeah <clears throat> okay we have the fates so it's like you're meeting your destiny here for some of you you will be doing something regarding your soul purpose your divine calling maybe for some of you if you have a divine calling you will be taking action towards it and you will be seeing a lot of positive outcomes with this faiths card i see that you are going to do something that you're destined to do and you are manifesting the heart desires because your heart is guiding you uh, towards the things you actually came here to do <laughs> right uh, so this is fated for you guys a very abundant and beautiful life is fated you're going to work with spirit that's something i'm seeing here for you guys and that's what uh, your ascendant masters uh, want you to be aware of so but one thing is for sure you are here to learn as long as you are in this world you will be learning a lot of things through your experiences through your books asian knowledge asian wisdom that's something i'm seeing here um for some of you through your experiences like how you receive the messages maybe one day you receive a message from spirit and then you will see how it manifested how it happened then that will be an uh, information for you guys a lot of lot of things you will be learning here okay you're meant to shine uh, you're meant to be recognized for your work so this is a new new life for you guys all together this is like you are re reinventing yourself i feel like that uh, it's a new chapter for you guys that you need to be aware of and in this new chapter no one can blame you for you for your past that's done right now you're a different person so don't allow anyone to blame you for your past maybe something that something wrong that you have done in your past uh, that that's not yeah you have overgrown that you're a different person now so don't allow anyone right so we've, because maybe some people don't know your change and they might perceive you as the old you but you are the new you you are different so don't take their energy okay so that's very important <laughs> and uh, i i really i don't know why but this faith card i just want to clarify this for you guys and again there are a lot of stars in this dandel dandelions so this is talking about some sort of wishes coming true okay let's see the final message why why the faith card is here spirit just clarify the faith card and then we will end the reading <laughs> clarify the faith card for group number 2 okay so i'm not taking these two because these two fell okay oh my god here look uh we have the seven of swords in reverse in the sun uh so you will be seeing things very 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 clearly who is sneaky <laughs> right you fated for that again it's like you are someone who can see through the mask who can see through the deception you fated for that and that's your biggest gift group number 2 you can see through the bs you can see that who is uh, who is not good for you you can see through the red flags very very clearly and you can make the decision wisely and if someone uh you have met who is little bit sneaky uh, uh the truth about them is definitely going to come out very soon okay if uh, if there is has been a narcissistic or a person who was manipulating you in your life you will be seeing that clear you know they will you will be seeing the truth about that person your fate is to see and you are you know you're very safe and protected from these kinds of people because you have this in <laughs> this uh, third eye your third eye is so open uh, so you can protect yourself and as i told archangel michael is there showing you the, that thing so you don't have to worry about these kinds of people no one can yeah now no one can take your power no one because you're such an aware person you can see through the bs guys oh god wow that's your gift <laughs> uh you can see through the lies you can see through the deception very very clearly you are like the sun yeah whenever you are near these people they will become uncomfortable because the reason is you can see clearly who they are as a person and that's the major gift you have <laughs> okay uh, so that's all uh your ascendant masters want you to be aware of uh, today uh, so keep on continuing in this journey because yes there is so much to unfold so much of unknown is there that you will be as you enter that unknown then only you will be understanding about it but yes this, uh, the um, the veil has been lifted between uh, and the higher you know the higher knowledge is there for you guys there is more more learning for you guys group number 2 that's for sure more understanding oh uh, yeah and again the numbers uh, we have the zero number the one number that's all in your cards right zero one and then we have the code card <laughs> so uh, yeah there is this new beginning happening for you guys where you will be seeing your manifestation your harvest that's what so don't worry if you are you haven't gotten your harvest it's coming okay so that's all i have for group number 2 hope it made sense hope it gave you the um 
uh, the messages that you were meant to hear today okay and in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow and the decks that i used in this reading will also be listed so guys take care bye bye hello group number three if you have chosen this image let's see what is the message from your ascendant masters that you need to be aware of so like the awareness that your ascendant masters wants to give you and interestingly uh, the the it's pointing at the heart center and then when you look up the universe is there right so i feel like uh, you are you are going to heal your heart so if you have gone through a lot of disappointments in your life i feel like your uh, ascended masters are telling you that you are uh, healing your heart you are getting into this uh, yin energy where you will be receiving um, okay receiving yes receiving a lot of love uh, that's what i'm getting here okay so have patience rest when you want to rest because uh, if you rest you know sometimes we feel like if we rest everything will fall apart no sometimes rest is very important sometimes break is very important sometimes patience is very much important so be patient with yourself because i feel like you're going to cross the bridge okay you are at the end of the bridge you're crossing the bridge and yes you will heal your heart and you are going to the other side of the bridge that's something i'm seeing here okay <clears throat> i'm seeing like if you had issues with your sexual health and all that is definitely improving okay if you had trust issues that is also improving proving i feel like you will be more trusting of people because you're going to attract the people who actually uh ac actually uh, you know love you for who you are because for this pile i seriously feel you haven't seen the unconditional love maybe because of it you haven't given that unconditional love to yourself but i see as you move on this journey you are going to see that love from someone around you who is going to become your family okay so the first card is agape and look at the candles you know spirit is always protecting you that's what i'm getting here so again the unconditional love unconditional love is what is coming your way maybe for some of you you will feel that unconditional love as you trust in universe as you're believing in yourself as you're uh, um understanding your uh, past patterns why the cycle kept on repeating as you're breaking free from that i see that you will be uh, you will be feeling that unconditional love from the universe you will be you will be in this you know this wonders of the universe you will be like oh my god wow this is wonderful like when we uh, you know it will be a magical experiences where we will magical experience right when we are seeing like how universe works oh my god what happened like how my life changed it will be full of uh, awe and wonder for you guys that's something i'm seeing here seeing that love you know unconditional love love from people maybe you haven't seen uh, but you are seeing that and um, and you will understand how people are capable of loving how you are capable to love because you never thought that you are capable of it so um so yes i feel like there is this spiritual initiation happening for you guys you are going to be shown the way with the candle even in the dark you will you will have the light okay for some of you definitely there is this uh, feeling like you are going to receive a lot of love from a person who will be your family if you haven't seen that love if if there has been narcissistic in your people in your life toxic people in your life i feel like you're finally understanding why you were repeating the cycle as you're letting go of it because you didn't believe in yourself you didn't give the love to yourself so as you are loving yourself as you are doing that self love i see that as you know because i feel like you are actually working with spirit right now Uh, you're healing your heart and and i feel like more and more and more people that will give you the love that is what you are attracting okay so a lot of happiness i feel like you're attracting into your life that's what i'm getting here uh, for group number 3 i feel like you have you have you have a lot of disappointments with your heart matters i feel like that you may be in relationship you give you you have given so much but you haven't received that kind of love back and maybe because you didn't love yourself and as now you're giving that love to yourself you're seeing that change and um and you i'm seeing seeing like you're manifesting a uh, support from other people you're manifesting uh, un unconditional love the love that you haven't seen 
because now uh, I feel like uh, you are actually seeing the love of the God defined that how uh, God live, you know universe loves us take care of us right so I feel like that's that's what the change is there okay so as you are seeing that love you are healing yourself you're healing your past you're healing uh, the chapter of your life where you had dealt with narcissistic people toxic people and now he, what you're attracting is the people who can give you back what you're giving to them okay that's what i'm getting here yeah ten of swords energy look at it yeah a lot of this is the worst worst has been over for you guys that's what you need to be aware of people have stepped on you may uh, you know played uh, you know maybe you were you were play, playing you were being played like like a puppet people used you for their advantage and uh, they made you feel like you're not worthy enough so that's why you did something that you didn't want to do but now they don't have that power over you because you are in the energy of unconditional love right you are trusting spirit more you're having that faith more you're calling upon spirit and you're healing your heart your heart chakra has been healing and that's the thing you're opening your heart chakra for more blessings and you're ready to receive all the blessings that you haven't received till now okay so that's what i'm getting here yeah, four of cups here. Um, again, look, the universe is, uh, have been always protecting you, right? There was universe, but we didn't, you know, when we are in these circumstances, we cannot see the unconditional love of the universe. We cannot see that. But that's what exactly you're going to see. In, in you know, maybe through different people you will be seeing it. Or maybe some situation will happen in your life where you will be seeing the unconditional love of other people. Because I feel like for some of you, you might have lost hope uh, in people. But that hope is what is coming back. And that is actually, that is going to actually heal your heart. Yeah. We have the Empress. <laughs> mm, and we have the Two of Cups. So if there was a mother figure in your life, um, maybe through this mother, maybe this mother, you know, when we talk about mother, they are very, un they have that unconditional love that they give. Maybe for you guys, you didn't receive that unconditional love that you didn't know. But I feel like uh, um, you are going to see that in your life. In the coming, um, I feel like you will be seeing that kind of unconditional love from other people. Maybe it's not your mother, someone else's mother or a woman in your life will show you the real meaning of love. That's something I'm seeing here. For some of you, if you're a male figure, I feel like you're attracting a partner that will give you the love that you actually deserve. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, there is a union with these two of cups. For some of you, this can be a platonic relationship with a friend where this friend will show you that unconditional love, where this friend is going to become your family, where this friend will, well, the friend will give you that love that you never got. That's what I'm getting here. And because of it, you are going to heal your heart. It's like the, the exchange is mutual. Maybe you didn't have the clear exchange, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes in relationship that happens, one person loves a lot, they give, 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 the other one doesn't give them back, right? And and what happens uh, is like then the person, the other person have low self-esteem, self where they try to change themselves and they don't fit in with that person, right? And what happens, uh, uh, that is, uh, it, uh, it actually lowers their self-esteem. They become uh, very much less confident in themselves. They feel like they're not, not good for, uh, you know, they're not good enough. Uh, yeah, and it, 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 it plays with their mental health as well. And uh, it, pull, uh, it puts a heart in their hole. And I feel like that's what exactly happened with you guys as well, right? But that's ending for you guys. Now you're going to see the unconditional love. And as you see this unconditional love of the universe, of this other pe people around you, right? Maybe through different sit situation, different circumstances, you will be seeing that. And you are... Again, you know, you are you're going to start believing in love again. <laughs> that's something I'm seeing here for some of you, okay? Yeah... Someone who lost hope in humanity, in love, they are, the hope is coming back. That's what uh, I feel like your son and masters are telling you. And yes, the hope hasn't died. Uh, there is love. There is kind people. There are people who gives uh, that unconditional love. There are people like that. And I even feel like you are also giving. And maybe for some of you, 
the message that you need to be aware of is like self-love you need to take care of yourself you need to pour that love to yourself as well that you're pouring to other people as you pour that love to yourself you will see that your heart is healing and as your heart is healing your confidence is going to rise your self-esteem is going to rise you will be feeling worthy of the things you have in your life and as you do it a lot of good people you will be attracting into your life and i feel like that's what it is so fill your own cup first and then only give it to other people that's one thing i'm seeing here and yes you're not meant to be alone you're meant to express your creativity you're meant to i'm, I'm getting a very good sexual health as well sexual life for you guys as well if you uh, yeah if you want that that's possible for you guys mm, yeah and i'm even getting like hard desires maybe a lot of hard desires didn't come true for you guys it's possible for you guys it's possible for you guys okay so be in that unconditional love be in this wonder and awe of the universe because universe <laughs> if you ask universe universe will give you but you need to be in the vibration of love so as you're loving yourself as you're filling your own cup you will see the changes you will see you people coming towards you to help you will see that you will definitely see here okay with this empress energy also there is a lot of abundance in love right for some of you all you want is love and that's what you're getting yeah or maybe money money whatever you want it's happening the heart desires are going to be fulfilled your heart body and soul but you need to align your heart body and soul you need to clear your mind you need to let go of that overthinking that's what you need to work on you need to focus on your health your well-being okay group number three uh, practice more uh, healthy habits that is good for you if you are um, doing some sort of habits that are toxic or maybe you have some sort of uh, um, some sort of uh, obsession towards something it's time to cube that maybe work on that okay what are your bad habits that you need to work on eliminate more of that if you are someone of a hoarder maybe for some of you hoard things if you hoard things maybe there are a lot of things in your home and that's all messy and it's like it's it's like when we see a messy room we become messy so have you know focus more on your hygiene clean room that is all is coming through for you guys some of you okay your happiness your happiness is in your hands if you give your happiness to other people you will never be happy that's very much important yes there are sometimes situations that takes us away from it but at the same time uh, you can make a decision to be happy and no one can take that happiness from you if you decide you need to be happy no one can take it but if you are like focused on other people what they're talking about me what they're saying about me if you are always focused on other people and not fulfilling um, like not loving yourself enough I feel like it will be very hard for you guys to be happy and I feel I, I'm getting that that is what you will be understanding and here spirit guides are making you aware of it okay I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path so so maybe one more thing is like whenever you meet these people uh, you will feel very good about them you will feel good you will feel like you were you are expressing the uh, expressing yourself maybe you used to not express yourself because you had kind of a difficult um, upbringing okay so maybe you didn't express yourself but you will be meeting these people you will be expressing things about yourself and you know what these people will not be judging you and that's that's when you will know that they are your people <laughs> okay uh, but definitely these people are going to bring a lot of happiness but at the end of the day you need to understand that happiness is um, in our own hands if we give, we give if we give control to other people it's very hard for us to be happy and I, I seriously feel like you will be understanding that because you are in connection with spirit right you are you are you are understanding the unconditional love that universe has that's what i'm getting here you are going to be in this energy of uh, love so you need to be focused on self-love and for giving more time to yourself loving yourself working on your confidence working on your self-worth is what you need to be doing and focusing on your happiness is what you need to be doing okay and then we have the imagine card and you got one more thinker yes this overthinking needs to go guys <clears throat> um, again we have the imagine and thinker card so what you imagine that is going to manifest if you are constantly thinking about your uh, past if you're constantly thinking about the things that you don't need and if you're constantly imagining that there is high chance that might come into reality so you need to be aware of it okay so what are you imagining 
what are you imagining guys are you imagining a bright future for yourself right are you taking things very personally and when you take when we take things very personally what happens is we we think oh we are not good enough and we imagine ourselves in that light so how are you imagining yourself is very important right now okay be aware of it guys um if you're seeing yourself of as a person who is a com- is going to accomplish all the things who is going to be successful then yes you will see more of it but if you are dwelling in the fear insecurities and you're feeling like i'll never get that i'll never have that i will only have uh, the bad outcome then you're going to receive that only okay so that's very important so um let go of that negative thinking that's important and imagine imagine things that you want i actually took uh, the, this first for other two uh, groups but i forgot yours so let uh, let let let's take this now okay so for group number 3 what is the message from your ascendant masters okay <clears throat> I'm even I, I I just heard like what you give you will receive. So if you are sowing the seeds of stress, um, of uh, insecurities, of doubt, if you're imagining that constantly, that's going to grow. Okay, so be aware of it. Group number three, um, achievement. Oh wow! So it'll take a little time to reflect on what you have achieved to date. Honor and be grateful. So what I, you know, sometimes as I told, it's very easy for us to get to a place where we are only seeing the bad, only seeing the bad things that happen in our life, right? Only seeing what didn't work out for us, and we don't see what worked out for us. What we have, we don't see, right? So it's important for you guys right now to honor what you have achieved, to be grateful for the things that you have achieved in your life. Okay, so. more gratitude is required from your part okay and the final message is compassion yeah you need to be more compassionate to yourself guys you need to be more compassionate to yourself as you're becoming more compassionate to yourself you know you are going to see the magic of the universe right uh, and a person who believes in magic is only going to see magic and a person who is not going to believe in magic they are not going to see the magic for sure because they are not seeking that magic they are thinking that their life is not magical at all they will never see that magic only this old day or this things that uh, that is burdening them is going to happen and when we think about it when we imagine that same scenarios in our head that is what is going to happen so this is the time to be more compassionate to yourself Don't be so negative and harsh on yourself. Maybe for some of you, you achieve, you have achieved a lot in your life, but you are like, no, I have achieved this much only. I didn't achieve that. So it's like you become so hard on yourself, and then you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You need to be more compassionate to yourself. Okay, group number three. When you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings, isn't it? So be more compassionate. Practice self-love, guys. How you can practice more self-love? How can you give that unconditional love to yourself, guys? That's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on your own happiness. As you do that, you will see the magical things happening, and you will be in wonder. <laughs> so be ready for that wonder. But for that, you first need to love yourself. first need to be not so hard on yourself and even when you imagining things maybe you imagine like i will not be able to do that i'll not be able to do that na no don't compare yourself okay so that's the message uh, that you needed right now from your ascendant masters okay so if you if you liked it give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and in the description box i have my instagram page link if you want to follow me there go ahead and give it a follow And the text that I used in this reading will also be listed, guys. So take care, guys. Bye bye.